Hello there. Welcome to the Drifting Spore. I'm Steve. It is a gray morning in Nova Scotia this morning. We got a weather system coming in for the next couple of days. So we're in that nice little dimension right between Christmas and New Year's where, right, you're not really sure what day it is. All you know is you don't got to go to work, so you might as well go into the woods for your morning coffee, hey? That's how I think anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I came out here to this here, my friends, the Polypores, man. I've been here once before. I discovered this spot, geez, I don't know, a couple months ago anyway, earlier in the fall. And uh, I've been wanting to get back, so here I am. The brook river's running along just nice down below there. These polypores, these are uh, Phomatopsis mouncia, the northern red-belted polypore. They are beautifully healthy and nice, man. Very, very nice. Anyway, I'm going to start unpacking. I'm going to try to make my breakfast in a little bit of an experimental fashion this morning. So I brought it back up if what I'm experimenting with doesn't work and we're keeping it simple. The main thing is coffee. If breakfast can happen too, that's bonus. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy. Let's see what I got in the pack. So I shouldn't need my fire lighting kit. I am going to need gloves because we're going to be playing with hot stuff, but I don't need my fire lighting kit. Don't need anything else out of there. So there's my breakfast. Hopefully that'll work. Here's my coffee mug. My water slipped out of my neoprene sleeve. It's not very cold here this morning. Car was saying plus three when I was on my way here. So for in between Christmas and New Year's, that's pretty good. Got my sack with my cooking gear in it, my kettle and stuff, and I got my backup. Oh, here's my. This is going to be my stove device. I got the Ohuhu stove today, and I got a backup. And part of my backup is also going to be part of my Ohuhu stove setup. So I got a bit of methyl hydrate, and we'll see what that's for here in a minute. That should be. Oh no. Oh, my coffee kit is in my kettle. I was going to say, if I ain't got coffee, this is going to be a short video. All right, let's get set up. I almost forgot I got my little baking pan too to keep any heat my stove makes from getting on the ground. Oh, I think last time I was here, I used my Ohuhu stove too. Anyway, I brought some rocks up last time to kind of level this all off. Pretty good right there, I think. For what I'm doing today, I don't need to be crazy level. Just put that there to keep it from sliding around. Now, I've got the Ohuhu stove, and I've got pellets, wood pellets today. That's what I'm going to use for fuel, just to do something completely different. I'll show you, too, I've modified this a little bit. So that's the top to my stove. I'll show you that in a second. So that's the bottom. This inner bowl, I'm going to put this inner bowl upside down in the stove, like that. I'm going to try to level this off a little bit more. It needs to be I put some of this duff down on top of my rocks to make it a little softer so it doesn't want to slide around. There we go, that should do. So now what I've done, this is one of those Coolands Camp Heat Wick Stove cans. So I took a can opener to the top, got the lid off it. I've drilled some holes around the outside of it, just randomly. And this is going to be like my pellet burner, is what's going on in my mind anyway. So I'm going to put that in the top of the cool hands. I'm going to put pellets in it. Then I'm going to put some methyl hydrate in that. And then I'm going to light it and see if it'll actually uh, get hot enough to boil water and cook breakfast. 
before I get all that and see this here top top of the Ohuhu stove will fit perfectly on top of that. So now I'm gonna get all set up. I get my kettle ready. Really digging my coverall leg sleeve. Oh oh My flipper wants to take off on me. So I took my dollar store flipper and I cut the handle down to make it more pack size friendly. Put a little hook in it. I just took the angle grinder to it and cut it off. It's probably got a sharp edge there, but we'll be careful. Pack size flipper. My oil and my coffee kit is all in here. And I'm going to get my water ready so that I'm not fiddling with that once my stove is going. My water bottle is the perfect size for one cup of coffee. A little bit extra, but about as close to perfect as I could find for just randomly finding a water bottle in my shed, that is. Okay, I'll put him aside. Now, I'll bring you in closer and we'll see what we can get on the go with the stove. All right, let's see what we can do here. I got my pellets. I'll take this off for a second. So I'm just going to put a goodish amount of pellets in that can. For some reason, I kind of want to make like a little hole in the center, if I can. And in my mind, I'm going to want to pour the methyl hydrate in that hole. Now, technically, this may not even end up being a pellet stove. This might just be a methyl hydrate stove. But either way, if it boils water, I'll be happy. If it doesn't boil water, I've got a backup methyl hydrate stove with me. But I don't see why this wouldn't work. My Ohuhu stove, it feels like, is just warped enough now that he wants to wobble. Huh. He should stand, though. Okay. So now, let's get the kettle at the ready. I'm going to dump a goodish amount of methyl hydrate right into this pile of pellets. Kind of splash it around on the pellets. There we go. Now you watch this all burst into flame. <laughs> ah. mm, I'm realizing I don't have a really level spot to make my coffee either. Okay. Now, let's throw a spark at that and see if it'll light. Oh, yeah. One shot. And like I say, there's some methyl hydrate splashed around, so that's going to burn off. Burning and there's heat. And I can see the pellets starting to get colored there. They're getting black. Let's put my kettle on and get my coffee ready. Right on. That seems to be working. My friends, the polypores there. There's another one here. Beautiful. Thaumatopsis mouse. What a spot, man. Well, that seems to be burning pretty good. That's a sin that Ohuhu stove, I think, is what's warped and making that stove wobbly. All right, coffee kit. Let's get coffee on the go first, man. So i put a little bit of sugar in my cup. 
Not very much. I like my coffee bitter and black. Got my pour over device. Just taking advantage of my frying pan to get a flat spot here. It's a bit of a deer trail right there that crosses the brook. Found some hedgehog mushrooms here last time I was here too. Getting some steam coming. Another thing I don't know is how long that stove's going to burn, right? I've never really played around too much with the wood pellets. I burn them at home for heat, keep us off the oil. So everybody knows in Nova Scotia, heating oil's pretty cheap. <laughs> Not really very expensive stuff so anything you can do to not run oil is a bonus so we use wood pellets Ooh, that's looking pretty good man i like that the pellets have swelled all up with the methyl hydrate and i didn't use much methyl hydrate maybe an ounce there. Nothing to do now but wait for the water to boil. Where's my oil? I got my oil for my pan when I'm ready to cook. All right. Nice. That's not going to be much longer at all. Sounds like we've hit our rolling boil there now. Yes, we have. Ow, hot. That is hot stuff. The stove's spitting the occasional pellet out of there. Oh, let's get well-deserved coffee on. Get pellets stuck to the bottom of my pot. So yeah, once those pellets swelled up like that, They get up against the bottom of my pot. Ooh, careful. I dare say, from what I'm seeing there, I should have no trouble cooking up my breakfast on that, too. And from the looks of that, I could have used a lot less pellets. Maybe half the amount of pellets? Oh well. Like I said, the main mission was coffee. It appears we got coffee on the go, so. Definitely boiled water. That's what's important. There we go, that's all my water in. Get my kettle ready so that when this is full, 
I can just plop that in there, and that's almost there now. There we go. We'll just let that finish off in there. Oh, look, that swelled the top right up. <laughs> ah, the pellets are moving my lid. Oh, no, my spoon came apart. Quick spoon adjustment. There we go. Coffee is brewed. Now, let's get that covered so that it'll stay hot. Put that over here, and let's see about getting my breakfast on the go. Let's see if I can get that to sit back down. Yeah, there we go. Ooh -wee. Wonder, I could use this and try to just knock off the top layer of pellets. There we go. There we go. Okay. Got my flipper there. I'll bring you in a bit closer while I get this on. Okay. The stove still looks to be doing pretty good. Get my pan on. I hear chickadees coming. Which is no great surprise. I often seem to attract a flock of chickadees whenever I'm out. This is just olive oil. What I guess shouldn't stick, but That'll just help make sure. Still going, but it doesn't seem like it's going as good as it was. Okay, so I've got my Bear Complex container again this morning. I got all my breakfast in it. So what I did, I had this idea last night. Being around Christmas and all, we had some leftover ham. So what I've done is I've made ham and cheese grilled sandwiches. And assembled them. Some of my butter is going to get left behind there. Assembled them at home. We'll just kind of stick them in there. Let's see if we can get them to grilled cheese for me for my breakfast. Those are going to be tricky to flip, I would say. And I'm pretty sure I didn't bring a fork or anything, so it's all on you, Flipper. Okay. Let's see how this plays out. I guess we better try a sip of coffee. Let's see how it turned out. Oh man, that's nice. Mmm, very nice.
Don't know if I'm getting enough heat there to actually cook these or not. I hope so. Yep, I am. I am just barely got a little bit of toasting action on that one. Let's try this one. Ow, it's definitely hot. What's going on with this one? This feels like the bread slid out of the way on that one. Shoot, I don't know if I can save it. Get my cheese back in there. My cheese is starting to melt. Maybe with some fine tuning, I can get that little pellet stove to work real good. I have a couple ideas already <laughs> what I might do. When I stir it up like that, it seems to take right off. Let's try flipping these again. Let's see what the other side's looking like now. It's not getting very toasty. It's not super hot in there. In that pan. Like, it's hot though. Okay, this one's getting pretty crispy. I like what I'm seeing there. I get them nice and squished down there now. Those are almost done, I would say. A little tuna pellets isn't doing the greatest, I saw. It's making us work for it a little bit to get my grilled ham and cheese with a shot of yellow mustard done, but it's working. We'll get there. And it's kind of good for me because normally I'm the type that burns the grilled cheese every time. At home, I couldn't not burn a grilled cheese to save my life. I mean, I like them burnt, though. But I don't think this one's going to burn. Gorgeous morning, man. Just right still. Yeah. Other than the brook rattling by, it's lovely. I would say those are going to be about as done as they're going to get. They're pretty golden on one side anyway. I'm going to uncover my coffee so it doesn't want to burn my face off. Oh, perfect little coffee holder right there. Man, what a spot. All the amenities right here at your fingertips. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to call that good enough for me, I would say. Oh yeah, that one's nice and golden now. Looking good. I wonder if I can cut them in half. And the answer is yes, I can cut them in half. I don't know why I can't cut that one in half. There we go. I got him. All right. 
Time to eat. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Ham and cheese, grilled cheese, coffee. River, woods, polypores. Doesn't get no better than this. These are the days between Christmas and New Year's. Oh, look at that. That cooked up just nice. Ooh, it's too hot to pick up. I'll let that cool off some. They're nice and golden, not burnt. Oh, that coffee is strong, man. Very nice. Try this. Ooh. Mm. That is good, man. Ham and cheese, grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. It was slow. I wasn't too impressed with the pellets for that, but I think I had way too many pellets. I think if I had less pellets, it would have done better. So if I try it again, I'll try with less pellets. It boiled water too, but it was also slow. Like an alcohol stove would have got that done a lot quicker. But who needs quicker when you're just kind of spending time in the woods? Mmm. Mm-hmm. The yellow mustard in there just gives it a nice kick, man. So good.
Well, there we go. I got everything all packed away again, cooled off. I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm on the fence about using pellets like that in my Ohuhu stove. I think uh, an alcohol stove or a methyl hydrate stove would have worked probably better. But I think I could make that work if I use less pellets. What happened was the uh, pellets absorbed the methyl hydrate and started to break apart into sawdust. And I think that uh, that hindered the performance if I had less pellets, maybe even just a quarter of what I put in and the methyl hydrate. I think it would work better. So I'm not counting that one out. I'll probably try it again. My grilled ham and cheese was awesome, though. Slow, slow cooking, but they ended up golden and crispy and just delicious, man. Gotta love leftover ham. <laughs> I had a shot of yellow mustard in there. Bye, it was just delicious. So now that I'm, everything's cooled off and packed away, I just got my coffee to finish. I'm just gonna sit here and breathe this all in, man. Hmm, hanging out with my polypore friends. Phomatopsis mounsi is one of the mushrooms that I use in every one of my teas that I make. I also use it in tincture. He's a great one for inflammation. But anyway, let's not get into that too deep. If you're interested in that sort of stuff, I encourage you to look into it, man. These polypore mushrooms, you can get them year-round. They're a really good reason to get out in the woods and have a look. Sometimes you end up finding spots just like this. Oh, I just wanted to mention too, since we're here, this toque I'm wearing, I wore it on my last trip too. This here is a Nova Scotia made toque. It's Stanfield's toque. And I believe Stanfield's is at a Truro. I should have looked that up before though. And man, oh man, what a nice toque this is. It is thick. And it is dense. It really locks the heat in. Like, I've been wearing it mostly just like this because it hasn't been that cold. But this is a toque I'm going to want to wear when it is real cold, that's for sure. And this was a gift from my secret Santa. And I really appreciate it. I really like it. And I thank you very much. It's awesome. That's what it is, man, right there. It's a whole different world out here. Oh, well. If I were a sponge, I'd say I'm pretty well saturated. I got this soaked right up, man. Mmm, the best way to start the day, right here. Oh, well. I'll throw these last couple things in my pack and get ready to roll. Crucial when you're coming in the woods, bring a sitting pad. It'll make your time in the woods that much more enjoyable. I don't often bring a chair or anything, but I always bring my sitting pad. Gives me a dry, dry place to sit, gives me something dry to kneel on. Never leave home without it. And it goes over the front of my pack just perfect with a little bit of fiddling. 
There we go. I got my pan attached to the outside. I got that attached to the outside. All right. My pinch strap wins again. Thank you, my friends. It was really nice to spend some time with you this morning. Hmm, be well. All right, there we go. I'm all packed up and ready to go. Time to head off through the woods, head downstream back to the car. Beautiful morning in Nova Scotia. It's about all I can say. Getting out before the weather moves in. I was up early again, up before daylight and gone. Landing here just as it's getting light out. It's perfect, man. Perfect little spot. I'm happy to have spent some time with my polypore friends. My grilled ham and cheese was a success, even if it was a little slow. And my coffee was just perfect, man. What a great way to start the day. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for tagging along with me on this little adventure out into the woods for breakfast. And I really hope you'll join me on the next one. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, and remember, folks, you will never find anything unless you get out and look. Go have a look, man. It's so worth it. Bye for now.